Hello everyone. I am going to talk a little bit today about the symbolism in a piece that I created for the chrysalis called Tiger Librium. And it speaks largely to um, the beautiful balance of masculine and feminine energies that we are constantly striving for in ourselves and in our relationships. And um, the polarity so I think it's it's important to kind of look at some of this terminology. The equilibrium piece, of course, is the state of opposing forces being in balance. So opposite forces don't necessarily mean they're contradicting each other, but there's this equilibrium, this this internal balance. So when we when our energies are balanced, and that is a dance, as we've talked about before, it's never, we're never in the same place, and the energy around us is never the same, and our chemicals are never the same. So this is an awareness, this, this striving, this dance for equilibrium. Um, and when we have magnetism, um, especially in our relationships, that is the capability of attracting. Um, when someone's magnetic, magnetic, they are attractive, and that's not necessarily a physical thing, it's an energy thing. So there's an allure, there's a, a draw, and that can only happen, of course, when there's a bit of duality or polarity, which is the state of having two opposites or seemingly contradictory tendencies or opinions or aspects um, that create, a, you know, a tension this way. So we have also gravity thrown in there which is, is another way of looking at these forces which um, is the force that attracts one body to the other and when we balance these different words that define different states we um, have something that's sustainable so uh, in Chinese ancient philosophy they talk about um, yin and yang and that's the balance of the masculine and feminine, not male and female, where there is a strong sense of that energy, but there is a seed in each of the other. So I think it's important to talk a little bit about what those energies mean. Um, in each of us and in our relationships, it doesn't matter if it's um, between you know, mother and daughter, or uh, girlfriends, or lovers, heterosexual, homosexual, the energy of masculine and feminine has to do um, with not at all male and female, although it tends to play out in that way. I've reconnected a lot with my own healthy masculine and therefore found other even more healthy masculine relationships in my brotherly relationships and um, in romantic partners and so this kind of healing and aligning with self and those those ideas um, are absolutely crucial and that's what I wanted to capture in this piece was you have these two strong forces you have um, a balance between them and a clear attraction that can make it sustainable so uh, what are the forces um, of the masculine. So when we think of masculine energy, we're, we're, do, we're thinking of um, action. So it has more to do with the doing. Uh, it's purpose, goal-oriented, direction, very straight. It's the bright of day. Uh, it can be abrupt, positive. Um, the masculine tends to let go. It forgets. It's centered and rigid, single-minded. So a mountain, if we're thinking of a natural thing, a mountain is a masculine, natural occurrence. It is eternal. The feminine, um, some of the attributes that are uh, attributed to the feminine energy are the emotion, um, flow, uh, curving, communication, the dark of night, the feeling, and the sensual. Um, it has to do with the negative space it the feminine gathers to to her to it um, the feminine remembers it can be wild and open and it's multitasking not single-minded so the natural occurrence that always strikes me as the best metaphor is um, the ocean the ocean is always evolving it's undulating it's moving so you have the 
the, um, the mountain and the ocean when we're thinking about these in natural terms to help kind of conjure what those forces feel like. The, the yin, which is the feminine, is, um, wants to be full and held, and the yang wants to be empty and free. The masculine grows through challenge and the feminine grows through pleasure. So these are, you know, concepts that we've learned about. Um, and actually I'll link in the notes. Um, my friend Violet has beautiful courses on masculine and feminine energy. Tony Robbins, so many people have really, you know, um, studied this and noticed what the things are that create these opposites, these polarities, so that they can be sustainable. Um, so back to the masculine you know, being the container, it provides the structure. And I, of course, love metaphor, so it helps me, um, I guess, even feel, not just think, and therefore remember these concepts. So the masculine energy is the structure, or the foundation, um, the platform for the sculpture, the structure for the event. And um, it would be the banks of a river. It would be the canyon. And then the feminine is the, is the sculpture. It is the, um, the dancing that happens at the event. It is the water flowing through the river. So without the container and the water, you wouldn't have a river. You would have, I guess, a puddle or um, just a bunch of water that dries up, but you wouldn't have life. You wouldn't have this flourishing. So you have your, your boundaries that are seldom swayed and you and, and with those boundaries you can then have so much vibrancy so much life so you can see how that balance just even using the analogy of the, the metaphor of a river and a river bank how without too strong of forces with a bit of give either way with that yin and yang the seed of the other um, because the water can eventually erode and make the meandering turns that can contain life and then you know, conversely, the, the banks can stop the water flow and there can be a dam. So they do play each other, but it's right in those sweet spots when we have that equilibrium that everything has its most potential. And uh, another example would be this show. So the Yang masculine energy, I have one foot in the masculine, which is uh, the physical gallery. Uh, the software used to create um, the technology aspects of things, the technology for this presentation, the materials, knowing that I, I want you know this kind of paint. So there's the logistics and the and the, that part of it. And then the feminine part of this show would be the art. It is the performance. It is what actually happens when the paint hits the material. It's um, the interaction that happens in my body. Um, the communication of it is very feminine and it happens within those perimeters and so it's the one is the known I have these things I have these these tangible um, materials and the other is the unknown what will become of them how it will be presented how it will be received so it was important to me in this vision to pick a creature I wanted once again to 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 step out of just the human humanality of it and um, so I in the vision I had it was you know we were human tigers and the tiger to me is a very and it is in in the wild a very self-reliant animal um, only you know when it needs partnership for mating does it congregate at all so it's interesting um, or I guess it was it's fascinating yet it's also really clear why the vision was of, of tigers as humans. So coming into any relationship, coming into your family as this balanced creature, being 100% responsible and not necessarily needing anything from the other, I feel is when we can create um, a sustainable relationship. And even in myself, there are some days there's more feminine things happening, and so I have to make sure to care for my masculine so that my feminine can flow freely. So it's, it's interesting when we're more balanced within, it often shows up in our daily life. And then I put um, the pyramids, so they're 
I saw us on this this um, this desert plain that was also we had mirrored reflections in the water and I see this as our emotional and physical which is also once again the masculine and feminine um, our light side and our dark our shadow and really embracing that being receptive and giving um, the pyramids that was very interesting and at first a lot of times I'll see the vision and figure out later what it actually meant but um, the pyramids it was definitely at Giza because um, Orion's belt was above it but the middle pyramid was the the rising or setting Sun and um, pyramid means fire in the middle so I understood why that pyramid didn't need to be there that the pyre meaning fire and amid being in the middle is the the way they're gazing at each other that's magnetism and with that magnetism being of those opposite forces it can be sustainable it does have that gravity it does have that longevous potential and I think that's where we have ultimate creativity in ourselves um, when we're balanced like this and where I feel in relationship um, we have the most to offer and the most um, opportunity for growth so finding those those ways where we can be more balanced, be in equilibrium, and and actually um, attaining that in ourselves first. So that's why creating this piece from the vision was so important to me because I wanted this reminder. I wanted to have that in my daily life and constantly be striving for that. So I hope this inspires you as well, Tiger Librium.